Welcome to the Poe Politikin Show. Founded in 2008, Poe Politikin is a hip-hop meets self-help brand. With each interview, we teach the babies and share success secrets with you, the listener. Past guests of the Poe Politikin Show include Yo Gotti, Currency, MC Light, BG, Dead Press, Rashida, Project Pat, and more. We also showcase the future upcoming stars of hip-hop. Subscribe on iTunes and get automatic updates of each podcast episode. Popolitikin.com What's up? This is Sir Daniel and I'm on Popolitikin, representing for San Diego and the Del Sol Records label. Ah, uh, yeah, uh. The motherfucking man, y'all don't even understand as a man with the plan. Now watch me move, break, hit him with the bass. Watch him all shake, catch a booty to the face like Man, I'm the man, I'm the motherfucking man. Y'all don't even understand as a man with the plan. Like, hand me a grand, that's the grand. Yo, so the brand, hit him like bam I'm in the business of making millions, this shit's ridiculous My bite is vicious, don't act suspicious, don't get it twisted I'm inconspicuous, I'm something that you wish you was Not used to getting cuff, that's why I left them in the dust I ain't messing with these lame fools, no, no I'm all about the Benjis and the G's with the flow I'm all about the people with the very front row who work nine to nine, seven days in a row Been saving your dough, been aiming at mo Been slaying your hoes, been praying for mo A way to get out and step your game up The paper weight up, we going straight up It's like we hopped onto an elevator and watched the numbers grow But instead of breaking ceilings, we just busting through the door Like, hand me a gram, that's the gram, that's the gram Don't sold a brand, hit them like bam Then we nonchalantly roll out through the lobby Got my homies right beside me it's the sweetest kind of robbery Dan, what is you doing? Dan, what is you doing? What is you doing? Dan, Dan, what is you doing? Dan, it's the master plan Damn, Daniel Daniel handles the daily scandal Hop on my channel You can never damn this cocker spaniel Straight out of Mexico I'm international With this West Coast flow I'm out the barrio Daniel, son Where you coming from? I'm an indigo child Coming straight from the sun Night troll Light shows Nice clothes Hip troll Gives me the music elements To transcend into a maestro Daniel Boone Always making moves Better watch it before you step on the run Shoes like Mira estupito Esa madre son pinches copyrights wey No puedo estar usando mi pinche voz wey Tus pinches tracks wey Te voy a demandar la verga estupito on to another motherfucking dimension, I'm out of here I close my eyes in better places, imagine I'm on a beach And someone just said to me, hey Sir Daniel, here's your drink In a smooth, seductive voice, I replied and said indeed This exactly what I need, Needs your time to hold my peace Need some space to orbit, please, like a dog, I'm off the leash But if I could see it, I can do it, touch my faith and grow congruent Close fist so I never lose this, minimum wage can never do this hey Danny boy. I know they trying to get you with them noise complaints Just hold your shit together when they rest Major place, trying to make me look like the big bad wolf. They gon' catch a body, boy. That cried out wolf. Man, I'm the man, I'm the motherfucking man. Y'all don't even understand. That's the man with the plan. Now watch me move, break, hit him with the bass. Watch him all shake, catch a booty to the face. Like, man, I'm the man, I'm the motherfucking man. Y'all don't even understand, that's the man with the plan Like, hand me a gram, that's the gram Yo, so the brand, hit him like bam Hand me a gram, that's the gram Yo, so the brand, hit him like bam Welcome back to PoePolitikin.com, your home for self-help meets hip-hop Make sure you follow us on Spotify, listen to all our interviews on there One, two, one, two, I'm in the place to be with Sir Daniel How you doing today, bro? What's up, big rich homie Paul? I'm I'm feeling blessed today, man. It's a good day in San Diego. That's what's up. So why they call you Sir Daniel? Sir Daniel was given to me by my mother. Sir Daniel is Senor Daniel. Uh, I grew up amongst three Dannys, and there was just too many of them. I was the shortest one. I got termed Little Danny, but that don't work in this hip hop community. There's too many littles, so. So y'all, you you had three brothers, and all y'all named Daniel. I had three basic uh, homies that we all we were basically were like brothers. Yes. 
So talk, uh, where's your, what's your hometown? Where you from? I was born in Los Angeles, Torrance, and then we moved down here in San Diego. Uh, so I recited, I would say, uh, the majority of my life down here. So I represent for San Diego. All right. Then talk about your background a little bit. Let us know how long you've been involved with music. What got you into it? Music started at an early age. I picked up the saxophone, uh, did the classical work. Then I went to uh, mariachi, did a little bit of the garage band. And I landed in uh, in the hip-hop community. Now, what is garage band? What is that? Oh, so uh, garage band is a loosely, I mean, it's a program on, on a computer. But yeah. what I'm saying is garage band, like you got your uh, core group of friends. You guys are trying to make up, uh, bring, you know, make something happen. So you got your drums, you got your guitars, you got your synthesizers, and you're just putting a, a bunch of creativity t together to create music. So oh, like a jam session? Yeah, so like nice uh, sessions. Right. Now, how did you get into hip hop and from that? So from hip hop, uh, being in a group uh, with four other heads is very hard to maintain a consistent schedule. So hip hop was just always in me. I'd always produce it growing up. Um, so it was only natural for me when things went uh, broke up. You know, I, I just continued as a producing my craft, and I ended up in hip hop. All right. Yeah, I want you to who was your influences. Uh, growing up, definitely, I gotta say it was Eminem, uh, Devin the Dude. There, uh, I fall somewhere in between the, those, those categories. Hmm. And then talk about your style and what do you feel makes you unique? So my style of music is called hip tro. I just pioneered my own genre. There's nobody out there that's doing it. I'm the only one that sounds like this. What hip tro is? It's hip hop, electronic funk. So all kind of put together. I play all the music, uh, the instruments on it, cars, bass, synthesizers. Uh, I try to stay away from sampling so that my music stays as organic and true to my form. Uh, I would say it's it's like a chill chill funk meets trap. Okay. And why do you love music? I love music because of the power that's behind it. And I'm not out, like, out to seek power in that sense. Um, I like to use it as the universal language to break barriers and to bring uh, concepts to the table. Um, it's amazing to me how you can be a poet and you add a little bit of, of music behind it and you have the power to make somebody cry. You know, you have the power to make somebody laugh or feel disgusted, you know. Um, so it's a very powerful source that I think has been used in the wrong hands, and I'd like to come out and represent uh, a true form of authentic, original hip-hop in the Latino community. I mean, what is hip-hop to you? Uh, hip-hop to me is allows me to find my place in this world. It allows, it allows me to see everything that goes out in this world and find meaning through what I... What, uh, what, through the art that comes out. So, I mean, we see all the things that go on in, this, in the American society. Um, so it's just a way of me being able to es escape lyrically so that I don't do nothing dumb. You know, I'm able to channel that energy into something positive and, and bring change. Okay. Now you was talking about hip hop in the Latin community. So who, who's, who are the top five Latin rappers to you? To me, uh, definitely Eminem. Uh, no, Latin rappers. Latin, Latinos. Yeah, yeah, Latin. Oh, Latino. man. Uh, that's kind of hard to say because, there, I mean, I'm not going to say there hasn't been too many pos uh, predominant ones. But, I mean, I got things like in my in my library, like uh, Tres Delincuentes. I got Monotol. I got, um, what's homeboy's name right now? Uh, Bad Bunny. You know, he's on my playlist right now. So, uh, What about Lil Rob? Lil Rob, he's cool. What about Baby say, Bash? Cool, he's cool. They're Not cool. for Mexican. Baby Bash, uh, Frankie J, uh, all South, South, uh, Southwest, South Bay. Uh, I used to like South Park Mexican, but he went to jail for some crazy shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, used to like, I liked him, though. That was my really like South I Park like Mexican. The, yeah, I like the swag. I like what they're doing. I definitely support everything that they yeah, do. Yeah, because it's like a lot of, uh, I mean, it's like a lot of, uh, like, especially like uh, Chicano rappers out there. I don't really, I'm not into that scene, but I just. I just noticed. Ain't somebody named Frost or something? They're, they're, we're, we're all coming up right now, man. The the one that everybody's gonna be happy for is Sir Daniel. Oh, what about what about uh, Six Nine though? 
Six nine is is, is uh I ha- I don't really understand him completely yet, <laughs> but I know he I know he uh says he's Mexican, so if, you know I mean I'm gonna go with his words. Uh, I so uh, what are your current projects you working on? My current project that I'm working on right now is a song ca- a single um called Love Like Mine. Uh, we just filmed the music video for it in Greece. Uh, we were out there for about two weeks. Had a yoga retreat out there at the same time. But uh, make sure you stay tuned. September 21st uh, on Spotify, Apple Music, Love Like Mine. All right. So I want you to talk about the video. But then I also want you to talk about the yoga retreat. So you talk about the video first. So how y'all got out there to do that? So the video. So I had a song already uh, produced, ready to go. Um, it was just a matter of trying to find the right place to film it. So this all kind of aligned up perfectly. And um, the video, the song is called Love Like Mine. So it, it's uh, basically me and my lady out here doing what we do. We've been together for about 12 years now. So we're just out here promoting positivity, promoting love, compassion. So that's what you're going to find in the video. I mean, what more do you want for two lovers, you know, better than Greece? You know, so it's it's just an epic place. The energy is beautiful out there to shoot a, a music video. Every corner, every, you know, there's beautiful angles for everything. And then what were you doing with the yoga retreat? Yoga retreat. So um, as far as, like, things that I like to improve myself, um, I like to participate in yoga. My lady is actually a teacher. She's a yoga teacher. And we all follow uh, Hano, who is a teacher at the Chula Vista, Chula Vista Center. So um, Hano and my lady are uh, key players in my spiritual journey. They allow me to search deep within me and connect to what it is, um, the source, you know, to my source or to the universal source, you know. So it, it was definitely a, a search experience for me to find new frequencies, find new wavelengths. I'm into the whole meditative state. I'll I'll do meditative. uh, People will lead me through the meditation, uh, which is what I'm saying, Hano and my lady. Um, And then I'll do just like regular, uh, just free kind of meditation. But I'm into the spiritual world. Uh, I like to be aware. Now, what are three things you can't live without? Water. Uh... Music and the beach. Hmm. Now you yeah. talked about the meditation and the yoga. What are some other things you do as far as personal development? Um, I like to read. I definitely like to uh, garden. Gardening has been like my childhood thing growing up. Uh, it's you know probably the most stereotypical thing about Mexicans being gardeners, but I'm gonna tell you that a lot of deep meditation uh, information. That if you allow yourself to be in tune with it, that it's gonna give you a lot of information. But gardening, I got a I got a puppy, so he allows me to uh, you know, be in tune with the uh, with the speechless of this world. What kind of books you read? Books. Um, I I I go all over the place. I just finished the Eckhart. Uh, the New oh, Earth. Yeah. Just finished down. It's an excellent book. I invite everybody to read it. I mean, I've read things. I'm a sociology major from San Diego State University, so I was able to get things across me, like the power, the 48 laws, and uh, big skis, and a couple things like that. But if you if you break me down to my childhood, man, my favorite book is called The Hatchet by Gary Paulson. Straight up, right there. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, and then what are your top three goals for your career right now? Um... Top three goals. Uh, for my career is to be selfless, to be you know to lose my ego, um, to control the ego. That's one. That's my you know my form of success. Um, um, definitely, you know there, there's the part of the material world that that's that's needed. Uh, right now, I currently live in the back of a of a smoke shop and out of my forerunner, so. Hoping that the, the music, you know, uh, picks up. So that's that's another aspect. Uh, it's, it's taking off. It's already taking off. But I hope t- uh, to continue my career in music. That's, a, that's how I'll feel successful. And I guess the third one, um, having family closer. 
What do you mean when you were saying let go of your ego? Uh, so I had a hard upbringing, bro. I mean, I was in a Mexican family. That's all about chanclazos. You get the belts to the ass. You get all these things. So I took a, <laughs> uh, I took a lot of my parents' trauma. So I, I suffer with this uh, pain body that I think all of us do. Um, if we allow ourselves to be in tune with it, you know, we're able to see it. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Like uh, I was abusing all this shit growing up. I don't know if I can curse. I'm so sorry about that. No, you good, man. All right, cool. But uh, yeah, thank you a lot. Yeah, so you was abusing shit. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you for providing this, you know, uh, space for me to, you know, get 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 this in. But um, yeah, that's definitely the ego, man. And then you experience a lot of uh, people's other traumas in their life, and they try to project their troubles onto you. So I'm just really uh, trying to stay at the center of my of my universe so that I can project out what I wish to to see out of this universe. Yeah, you trying to drop some game? Talking about pain body? What's pain body? So the pain body. This is what uh, Eckhart talks about a lot. That from birth, bro, we, we are born with this like either sense of like, oh, we deserve this or we deserve that, and it's just the fact that the earth has been going through so much trauma. Like humans as, as ourselves, we everything we touch, you know, we destroy a flower, relationships, business, whatever it is. So we have to be conscious of of what it is that. Uh, allows us to 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 lose ourselves to lose control to get angry to have road rage you know to say the wrong things you know? so the pain body is this is this thing that lives in all of us and some people have huge ass ones and some people have little ones but we always have to be aware of what we're projecting so we don't hand it off to somebody else because that energy and all that is very real you know and uh energies do tra- transfer so being aware of, of, of if your own pain body is, is the is the start of losing. And then you say, where well, you say you stay right now? Right now I'm on El Cajon Boulevard. I stay right here uh, in Vision Smoke Shop. This is where I'm repping ten to nine all day, man. This is where I'm at. I sleep in the car and I work all day. After hours, we're in the studio. This was up. So where do you see yourself five years from now? Um, I see myself at a new level of consciousness now whatever that means i mean i can have all these material things like i said but it's it's a level this life is like life is a classroom for me so from the day i was born that was my first day in class to the day that i die that's my that's when i graduate so my goal as far as like where i'll be in five years is achieving the greater not anything physical because nothing could I can say, oh, I want to be here, I want to be there, but it's really inside that takes you to these places. So it's just a, a quest of consciousness. Hopefully I'm at a higher level of consciousness in, in the next five years. Man, how do you, um, how do you meditate? Meditation, do you do? I either do a, 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 somebody leading the meditation, which is like an instructor uh, like Hano, or we uh, there's also online courses, I think it's called Yoga Glow, and they lead you through that too. My personal method of, of meditating is literally just, uh, I have a little temple right here in the studio with all these gems on top, and before I start my studio sessions, I just sit there, forget about all my thoughts, forget about, you know, uh, past to present, future. Uh, I live in the present is what it is, so that's my form of meditation is to ground myself, um, and there's, like I said, there's many types of meditation. There's no one right way to do it. I mean, I get it from gardening, producing music, you know, uh, just coming together, you know, to instead of blasting myself out into many millions little pieces, like just hold myself as a whole. Yeah, what do you mean when you say you live in the present? So living in the present, a lot of us here suffer with this idea that, oh, we got to be here, we got to be over there and this and that. People struggle with the present, you know, uh, because they're thinking about the future. And in order to be happy, in order for me to be happy, I need to be thinking about exactly what I'm doing right now. This conversation with the rich homie Paul, you know, um, not thinking about, oh, what what I'm going to eat after this or, you know, what else I got planned. Because if I'm present right now in the present, this is the most meaningful thing that can ever happen to me. Mm-hmm. And, it, and is happening to me at this moment. So as long as I'm present, I'm happy, I'm aware, and this is a freaking blessing to be here, man. Again, thank you, man. I appreciate the platform. Let me let me just uh, 
say thank you for doing this and and you providing this platform for all the artists you know like this is this is amazing thank you yeah thank you man i see you uh you dropping game in the interview i gotta just keep asking you questions you dropping <laughs> game over here please do talking about the pain body and being <laughs> the president and shit i hear you i hear you yeah, you might have, to, you might you, have to let that rap game go and, and get your deep pack <laughs> chopper on or something. You know that that's why I want people to know that where my where my rap game stems from. You know, like it's not just money, pussy, weed, guns. You know, like Draco and all this stuff. You know, like I got I got something meaningful. If you're willing to listen, you know, if you got the time. What advice would you give to new artists? Whoa, man, that that is my biggest question that I even asked myself. But I guess I'm I'm turning to now. And the only thing I could ever advise any artist trying to make it independently is put some force blinders on. Don't look at nobody. Keep your head to the ground. Get where you need to get. And stay focused. Lose all your distractions. Value your time. Just time is the only thing you cannot re recompensate for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Believe in yourself, most importantly. Believe in yourself. No matter if nobody believes in you. Like I was saying, my, my dad probably still doesn't uh, approve of me rapping and, 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 and doing all this. But, you know, his opinion isn't the one that's going to pay my bills at the end of the day. So keep keep on pushing, man. What's up? And what's the best piece of advice somebody gave you? <sighs> the best piece of advice somebody gave me is that you got to spend a little money to make a little money. Oh, uh, I heard that. that you know, so invest in yourself, basically. Yes, correct, man. That's the biggest tool. I, I never knew that. I mean, growing up, you know, like low impoverished communities and stuff like that, nobody tells you how to run a business. Nobody tells you that kind of stuff. You know, you're programmed to just go work for somebody. So when a businessman told me that, oh, man, my world opened up and I said, let's go get it. Let's get it. The world is mine. I mean, especially, I think that kind of go back to when we talk about the new artists. Cause a lot of new artists, they don't, they think they just got to put the music out. And that's it. They don't realize you got to put money into the marketing, there's so motion, much branding, all that stuff. There's so much behind uh, PR. The there's music, and then there's music business. Right. You know? so the first quest, you know, my, I'd say my first uh, spectrum with music. That's the music. Now I'm I'm falling into the categories of the music business. You know, we got Delso Records. Pumping out uh, all our music, they're doing all the publishing. Um, they're the ones that uh, help me get out there to uh, to Greece. You know, we got dope equipment to shoot all our music videos, all in-house production. So it's all a grassroots movement that we got going on right here in South Bay, San Diego. So what's the name of the record label again? Del Soul Records. You can check us out on DelSoulRecords.com, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook. Check us out, Del Sol Records. You'll find all our merch, and uh, you'll find also my, my CDs, my physical albums. So if you'd like to support the artist directly, that's the place to be, DelSolRecords.com. All right, and what would you like to say to your fans and your supporters? To my supporters, I, I owe everything to you guys. Uh, like I said, I don't have that foundation of family to uh, support. So when, like, uh, man, it, it almost makes me tear about how far... These people have pushed me to, 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 to where I've gotten. And I got to say, if it wasn't for everybody out there that's been supporting Sir Daniel, I wouldn't have been able to get out to Greece and to, to have these tracks already done. You know, like, I appreciate everything that everybody has ever done for me because this is where I want to be. This is where I got to be, you know, so I'm working for it. I'm on the grind. All right, man. I want to say thanks for coming through politics with me. Thank you. I appreciate you very much, man. God bless your soul. Yeah, I'm saying no, no doubt, man. I saw you at the, you remember you all did the rap contest. You was doing your thing out there. You know, bro. I I appreciate you being that uh that hand for me, bro. You don't I, I can say you know you don't know how hard I work for this, but I hope to only impress you as the years come by, and I'm and you're able to be like, man, I know that I knew that little homie before he blew up, man. I I I I was the first one to reach out to him, man. So just know that, rich homie. That's for sure. You want to tell me your social media and everything? Social media everywhere. Sir Daniel SD. Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Bandcamp, Spotify, iTunes, Sir Daniel. Um, YouTube, Sir Daniel. That's where you're going to find all my music videos 
follow, like to all of them. That way you stay in tune with everything I got coming out. Again, September 21st, Love Like Mine, Sir Daniel. Popolitikin.com. The Popolitikin Show is brought to you by Audible. With over 180,000 titles to choose from, Audible is great for any continuous learner wanting to grow and expand their knowledge and insight. Go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO audio and get an audio book of your choice free with a 30 day trial. After the trial, your paid membership will begin at $14.95 per month. With your membership, you will receive one credit every month, good for an audiobook on Audible. Cancel before your trial ends and you will not be charged. So go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO audio and download a free book by Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Napoleon Hill, Les Brown, Damon John, and more. Always remember that knowledge is power.